how to get the Mythic Striker Burst Assault Rifle, also known as MS Frost Striker Burst AR in Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 4 absolute doom the marvel season is what i'm going to be showing you in today's video i'll be showing you the best drops to get this item the best loot paths and rotations tips to avoid getting third party and as well how to take out the boss the best way possible among other things make sure you stick around for the entire video to catch all of it in order to get a competitive advantage in order to get this item more in all your games subscribe if you're new around here to catch more mythic videos in the future and let's get right into the video so there are five drops that i think are best at this location and most of these drops have to do with where Emma Frost is located. Emma Frost is located in this southeast building at the raft and most players are going to be rotating to this building in order to take her out so you do not want to land here. The areas you want to land is where I've highlighted on the map because people are going to be pushing in towards one central location so say for example if you land at this tower here people are likely to rotate in your direction and you can get easily third partied and shot in the back. Same goes for if you land the main building or Emma Frost's tower. Other people are gonna be coming through after looting up and you're a lot more likely to get third party. So what are the best locations? Well, firstly, a great backup location if your location gets stolen and you're late to the drop is this little helipad here. It's got two potential chest spawns and a floor loot spawn and typically some heals across the bridge. I normally like to loot this up, jump down this bottom section and then push into my standard loot path. Another great building to land. This is, however, the fourth worst of the five best locations. So the worst one is this helipad. Second worst one is this building here. Now there's a couple of reasons for this, mainly similar to what we said before. It's likely people could rotate there, but it's got some pretty good loot. There's a potential gun spawn that can be on the roof or on this top floor area and two potential chest spawns. If you head down the stairwell, you'll find a Dr. Doom chest. These chests give you better loot and more heals, so I always recommend going for them, as well as the Avenger chests, which are basically the same, they just look different. If you're landed at this location, it's best to drop all the way down to the bottom of the building, looting this whole floor area, looking for full shields and movement items. If you don't have movement items and you're playing zero build, you're probably gonna get eliminated. There's an extra chest below the stairwell here that can help you out, and if you don't have full shield, make sure you loot all of these produce boxes. If they have mushrooms or coconuts, this will give you shield. In many games that I've won, it's from getting this shield off spawn that helped me survive. After this, I take the door out that leads south of the building. Now this is more in line with my true best loot path, but I'll go over that shortly. You don't want to be out in this courtyard area for very long. It's likely that people will shoot you, and just like any of the courtyard areas here, it's a place to avoid because you're out in the open and you're easy to spot. You're likely not to have movement items yet until you loot a bit more, so I'll stay away from it. Run out the door, mantle on this top section here, and drop down to have more cover before approaching this other back building. Or you can run across here, go through this bottom section here, try to avoid the laser so people can't see you through wall and repeat the same thing. Now chests can spawn at the water here and I found some epic chests a few times. And on top of this as well, there is a potential god chest spawn in this building over here. Do note none of these chests have 100% spawn, so fingers crossed you get it, if not, all good. The best way to avoid these lasers that move is just by easily swimming in the water. There are also two chests that can spawn inside of this building. After going from this location, I head into the main area here, which I will go over in more detail as this is the best building to land at. You then loot this building area and rotate to the boss, but that rotation is the same in the next few drop spots, so I'll go over them first. The third worst drop spot location is this building that's a bit separate from the rest of the raft prison which i do think used to be a helicarrier there's an avengers chest that you can spawn in here as well as floor loot and chests before leading out of the building i'll loot up this whole area and take the stairwell down a big mistake that a lot of players i've seen make is just run out the front here and if i've landed over at this building here i normally spray them and eliminate them before they can loot even more loot the chest under the stairs or any produce boxes in order to get yourself more shield more health and potential movement items and then the chest you can then run down here open this chest and i'll take the zip line across in order to get across to the kitchen building a lot faster the best drop location is this direct building here now there's two ways to get into this building if the bus line puts you on this side of the building i normally go through this door here directly i land on this chest or i go for this door directly or I land in the door, open this chest, and then push into the building. The loot path I take is opening the chest and produce boxes, going through the door, taking the free slurp barrels, and then more produce boxes, and then looting the Avengers chest and the other standard chests and produce boxes. The best landing, in my opinion, is landing directly in this window area. If the bus allows you to, I like to land directly through here, open the Avengers chest, get as much loot as possible, normally taking all of the minis because you can get more shield easily, looting this back chest, 
produce boxes, every other chest in this building, and then taking the slope barrels. I normally save my half pots, flowberry fizz, or chug splashes, and use the coconut and mushrooms from the produce boxes in order to get myself up to 200 shield after taking two minis and hitting the slope barrels. I then rotate through this back building here and out the front, similar to the pass rotation, but different. Now, I wouldn't recommend running out in the open this way, but there's a couple ways that you can get on top of this building where you wanna go. Number one is you can head towards this fence here, and then climb on top of it and then jump up and climb into this building. There is another Dr. Doom chest that spawns in here along with a bunch of other chests. And this, in my opinion, is the best place to go next. However, if you exit out of this door and then mantle up onto this fence section, you can then mantle on this next top section of the roof and go through the door on your left to end up in the same building. Now, something you'll notice around these areas is there are a lot of Doom bots. I would not shoot them at all. They only shoot at you if you shoot at them or if you shoot at Emma Frost. The less people that you have to fight, the easier it is going to be for you to get the mythic gun. I also recommend in your game settings, under sound, make sure you have visual audio sound effects turned on. You'll be able to see footsteps of enemy players, and this will tell you when someone's about to be near you or rotate onto you. If you haven't hit the boss yet or the Doom bots, you won't see their footsteps. This is a major advantage. I then rotate out through this door and normally shoot directly down at people looting in this area or shooting at the boss. If I have a striker burst assault rifle already or a combat AR or any long range-ish items, it's pretty easy to shoot down. If I can't see people here easily because the roof is a little bit hard to see through, I drop directly down to this platform, shoot at anyone who would be behind me, and then face people in front. Typically, there aren't people behind me at this point in the game because you've spent so long looting, and it will just be people fighting the boss. You can shoot at them at the doorway or right below, but I always stay in this top section. Do note not to go into any of these prison cells while fighting. They're all dead ends and you will get stuck. The only one that's not a dead end is when you drop down to your right immediately, there's a way out of the building. People can shoot at you from across the way at that other drop spot we talked about or from the building up top or the mountains. A lot of people like to try and third party from these mountains. So typically I shoot at the people across from me. I run into this building through the top doors, not through the bottom and shoot down at Emma Frost. Now you can just spray at her to make her health go down as fast as possible. I recommend doing this with the brand new dual wielding SMGs as they are really powerful and have some of the highest damage per second. I'll be dropping a video on that later on in the season and then finishing off with an AR or a shotgun. Now, if she does turn diamond, there is a couple ways to get her out of that state. Number one, you can wait it out, just run away, come back later. Number two is keep spraying at her and it will break her block similar to Captain America. Or number three, if she has any red spots around on her body, this is a weak point. If you shoot that spot, she'll get out of this phase. Now, typically when fighting her, she'll go into this diamond phase and then all the Doom bots will start rotating in. Other people haven't eliminated them. Using audio visual sound effects, eliminate the Doom bots before facing her again. Having less bots shooting at you means you'll take less damage and means finishing the fight against her will be a lot easier. If hacking NPCs is back when this video is out, as it's currently disabled or just not working, hire one of them to be on your team. I then run back into the room and finish taking out Emma Frost or fight her around this top location. If she pushes out towards you, make sure you play near the doors or near the stairwell in order to get your health up or wait for your overshield to come back before taking her out. From here, you should have shield bubbles, bunkers, or a movement item from all the looting we did previously. Now, if you don't, that's an issue. But if you do, typically I'll throw either down the bunker or, or the shield bubble, pick up her loot, and then I exit out of one of the following buildings. The first door here that is located on the south side of the building at the top leads to outside. There is a chest inside this container, but it can get you trapped. I normally just run outside this door here, go to this zip line, take it across, and then take another zip line across and I'm out, or I just use my jetpack or shockwaves. You can also take this exit through the bottom door here. It is more direct, but I find more people to not be aware of the top side of this building, and I've been shot less going through the top sections. The other way to exit this building is through this door on the east side, right below, I think, the Helicaria logo. There can be a chest here as well, but there is a bigger exit out this side, and similarly, you can go through the zip line. There is an NPC out this way that sells a purple, aka Epic, Sovereign shotgun. So if you like that gun, it's good to go this way as well. There's a total of 77 potential chest spawns at this location, so you should be able to get very stacked for loot. This also has the most Avengers slash Doctor Doom chests out of anywhere else on the map, with four potential Avengers chests spawning and six potential Doctor Doom chests spawning. Take your time looting here, get your movement items, get your shield up, 
before pushing the boss. Otherwise, you're gonna have a very hard time. In order to avoid getting third party, take the loot path slowly and get your shield up. By the time you push in, everyone should be in front of you looking at the boss and you should shoot them in the back. If you haven't shot any of the Doom bots, anytime you see a pair of footsteps near you, push that person in order to eliminate them to avoid them shooting you in the back and third partying you. Careful though, people do camp in these back rooms of the bottom floor exit that faces south that we talked about earlier and also in the corner of Meowsel's room. If this video has helped you out and you want to catch more mythic guides in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you haven't yet liked the video, hit the like button, use code ONI in order to support me. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!